Good morning, everyone, and welcome to episode two of the Technode Firmicraft Build to Survive series. Well, we survived the night. It was a uh, little touch and go there with the Enderman, but this is what I ended up doing. And this is what I did all night long. Oh, glory of all glories, sunrise. And I sat peacefully and watched all of the skeletons and zombies burn right off of the horizon. So, now, today what we are going to try to do is get rid of this stink foot. We are on the hunt for crops. So we're just going to leave our little island there. Basically, we're just going to scour the land and see what we can find. Since I haven't really been able to explore much of this area yet, I think that's, uh, that's what we'll end up doing. Uh, we need to find some some water, and I, I'm pretty sure that when... Well, I don't know, because that's connected to the ocean. Let's try a little experiment. You'll notice I have some extra things in my inventory right now. I had to build a couple of defense weapons last night, just in case. I'll go over how I made those in a little bit. But I'm going to take an empty hand here and... Okay, so that is letting me drink out of there. So, to keep myself from going thirsty and slowing down, you just find yourself some fresh water, which I didn't think this was fresh water because it's attached to the ocean, but maybe that chunk just isn't loaded yet. I can't tell. Um, but there's cattails in here, and... From, from what I understand, if there's cattails and things, then it's considered fresh water, and you can drink from it. And so far, that holds to be true. So let's go uh, hunting some crops, because I'm getting hungry. Well, not getting. I am hungry. Got to remember to grab sticks and stones along the way. We're done with that. Ah, uh, here comes the rain again. I'm sorry for the for the rain and I know it does all sorts of crazy stuff to the sound. I'm gonna try to get rid of this. Hold on, I'll be back in just a minute. Okay, I think that might have actually done it. You know, the last episode I couldn't get the sound to adjust, so I think maybe uh, I was just glitching a little bit. Seems to be working now, I hope. Okay, so let's get some crops. <clears throat> now, I think I started going over what the crops actually, what they do with our 365 day year. I, know I started to, and then I probably ended up going on a tangent. So, in case I did, the crops grow in real time, depending on how you have your mod set. You can do 365 days and there's a couple other settings other than that. This one's set at 365. So it takes crops an actual entire season. You have to plant in the spring and you don't get them until harvest time in the fall. So that's why it's important right now, not only for, for me to eat, but I need to get the seeds from the crops. And I didn't even look to see what those even were that I just grabbed. That must have been uh, cabbage that I just grabbed. So right now these aren't mature enough for me to get fruit or vegetables off of, which I could let them grow and then come back, but I want the seeds right now as well so I can just get some kind of a farm started. So I've also got to scout out where I want to put my farm. Hopefully these are going to hit pay dirt. Come on, nope. Come on, darling. There we go. We got some food. Bam. Bam. Yes. There we go. We're getting some food. Okay. So the way food works, you can hold, I think it's, a, it's 160 ounces in every slot. And every food has a weight. You can see this vegetable has six ounces. Um, they take up a lot of space. So if I ho hover over one of them and hold, just push S, push S, 
it collapses them all down to one. Instead of a six ounce vegetable, it collapsed everything down into 35 ounces. So now I've got more space in my inventory. So that's an important thing to do. So I am going to take advantage and munch down. Get rid of the stink foot. Okay. I'll be going over diet and stuff like that as well because there's also <coughs> health. And health is based off of what you eat. You got fruits, vegetables, grain, protein, and dairy. So you need to keep those balanced in order to stay healthy. So there's all sorts of stuff in here that you really need to do. Which is why I liked the pack. So I'm just going to go hunting for crops. I'm um, probably going to... Oop, there's pumpkins. I'm going to go grab some of those. I might do a couple of edits here and there just so... You guys aren't watching me wander around forever. Whenever I come across something interesting, I'll, I will be sure to include everybody. So I will be back. Oh, I did find this little area. This is pretty cool looking. There's a hot spring. <clears throat> I don't know if I've come across a hot spring yet on camera. But you can actually uh, regain health from from soaking in a hot spring. So I am going to come down here. Might as well take a drink while I'm down here anyway. And I am going to mark this as a possible home base because I can kind of build into the side a little bit somewhere. And I already have a natural built wall. So yeah, I think I might end up doing that. Alright, so we got that marked. Let's continue our hunt for crops. Okay, well... I didn't really get a chance to find many crops. I cleared out a spot right in here for a farm. But we're starting to get a little dark, so I need to build a quick shelter. So as to, I don't die. Now one really important thing about this, when you start digging into hillside there is gravity in this game so sometimes you'll be digging and all of a sudden an entire literally an entire mountainside will come down on you and I'm not even joking so be careful so I'm just using logs real fast because they're easy to get and quick to break down because this is only temporary so when it does become daytime I can just break this down and actually spend some time building something a little well something much better than this this is just to keep me alive okay let's go up and I got some other more logs hope and we've got zombies coming ah shit and skeletons oh shit ding doom okay get me all right oh man okay we did it <laughs> hello Hello. All right. Well, I'm just gonna curl up in this corner. Well, at least they can't stand over here and shoot at me. I don't think. Oh, well, maybe right there. There we go. Now you can't. All right. Well, it looks like we're stuck here for the night. So let me light up my cozy little bunker here. 
All right, welcome home. Welcome home. I even have a little Christmas tree. We'll decorate that. Uh oh, I don't know what that was. I think I have monsters on top of my house. Well, according to my mini map, there's one or two monsters around. So I'm going to sit here and do nothing for a while. Oh, there goes a skeleton. Let's go piss him off. Hello. Hello. Do you want a bell pepper? No. All right. Well, we'll wait for morning. I'll see you in a bit. Actually, I'll take that back. Let me show you real quick the my new additions. I have a javelin and a knife. And since you can't have too many of any of those things, show you real quick. The knife is cool because you get two. You get a two for one. So you just do that pattern there. You make a T. And you get two knife blades. And then for the javelin head, this one, for some reason, I couldn't wrap my brain around it, and I would always forget it. So I just remembered, just knock three blocks off each corner. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. There you go. You got a javelin head. So those are the couple of tools that I made on my first full night, just in case something wandered in to my territory. So, all right, now I'll see you in the morning. You know, the other thing I think we're going to do real fast, too, is check our quest book. Starting to get daylight. I expanded, so I have a little bit more room. That skeletons are crawling all over me right now, so let's check this out, see where we're at here. Okay, so we did the flint napping. Um, we've got 16 andesite rocks, and we can pick between basalt and I don't know how you pronounce that. I'm a beer drinker, so I'm calling it a Guinness rock. I can see basalt all over the place, so I'm going to choose that for our reward. All right, now, let's see, a stone hammer. Okay, so I did the javelin and the knife. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, well, let's make a hammer real quick. Let's see the hammer. I think there we go. I can still hear zombies out there. I wonder if I have too many trees. Whoop. I always do that. I end up pitching my good picks and swords and stuff into the lava because I hit the wrong frickin' button. Alright. What the heck was I doing? Alright, so we're good with that, so we can pick a knife blade, hammerhead. Those are easy to make, so I'm just going to take that. I don't know what a quarter heart's going to get me, but... Alright, fire pits, we made a fire pit. Alright, now this, it says that it's a bed, but don't get uh, too excited. It's not. It's actually, and it's still a nice thing, it's a spawn point. You can, you gotta get thatch, which is what these knives are for. You can hack up grass and that'll give you thatch. So when you gather enough thatch, then you can, I think it's considered straw at that point, but and then you put little bales of straw together to make thatch. Put a rawhide on it, it makes a bed and creates a spawn point. It doesn't allow you to skip through the night though, like normal. Alright, so I need an axe. I need to get out of our house here. Where? I must have broke it. Alright, stone tools don't last very long, so you're gonna be prepared to make a ton of them. And it's gonna be a long time until we're ready to make any kind of metal tools. Let's 
let's just consume these. See, there I go, throwing my stuff again. Alright, I'm up to 24 lives now. Alright, what the hell was I doing? Okay, let's get a door. So hopefully next time when we come in here I'm not running for my life and I can just throw a block of dirt down. Now let's see what our tree situation is here. Okay, yeah, we're still, we're relatively open. Let's get rid of you though. When you start getting hungry, you get mining fatigue, and it takes forever to... Whoa, that's a funny-looking log. What the heck is that? White elm. Alright, well, let's go up here. Let's clear some of this up, too. Another hunt for crops. I will be back. Well, I'm not really finding a whole lot in the way of uh, crops as far as uh, mature ones. So I think I'm going to just leave all the crops be for right now unless I know for sure that they're gonna give me something other than seeds so I'm gonna wander back home kinda shore up the the house a little bit or the our base I have been marking mineral deposits though. Come across a few things. So I make sure I put mark it as a waypoint. Another thing I need to find is clay. Clay is really important and I could actually use that right now. getting dark. Oh, that's right. I'm going to home, not to... Uh-oh. Oops. See, now those are one of those decisions that can get you killed. Well, that wasn't a decision. That was just me having a a moment <laughs> I have to relabel my waypoint we're gonna do another mad dash into the house again come on let's go let's go I'm slowing down a little bit because of my hunger luckily I drank could definitely use a drink Come on, darling. Come on. Come on. Come on. You can do it. All right. All right. Okay then, I'm going to sit here for a while. Okay, we've got some daylight going on out there. I heard a few mobs burning up, so I think we're okay. 
Maybe, maybe, baby. We'll find out. All right. Well, I got a spot marked out. I have no idea what's there. Well, I did. Down there. And I'm only going there because it's blacked out. So I want to see what's there. So that's where I'm headed. What do we got over there? <gasps> Carrots. Hello, Mr. Cow. We'll chat later. Promise. Right now, I got carrots on the mind. There we go. Oh, are you kidding me? Screw you, burnt orange marigold. Oh, I. W Never mind. Oh, tasty carrots. Usually, that means there's more because they do tend to grow patches but those are also great seeds to have as well oh happy days okay so it appears we have there's some stuff there nothing there hmm huh. Ooh, a villager huh oh Damn it, where to? I saw some of wheat somewhere. What did I see? Some. Good God, man. I lost it. Really? I gotta pay better attention, apparently. Did I not see some sort of wheat? Oh, jeez. Okay. I need to have another safety meeting. Well. Hopefully these are going to give something sweet. Now that I can actually use for food. But I got too much stuff. I probably have a bunch of worthless plants. Let's see. I'm gonna keep that dirt just in case. Can I consume a quarter of a heart? Nope. Take me someplace I don't want to be. That's one of the other reasons you don't want to be out at night. What are you, Galena? Um, all of these crevices they spawn like every three blocks, and so if you're running from a mob in the middle of the night, you're gonna run into one of those. It's also one of the reasons why I don't really like the fact that you can walk through leaves in this game. Because I've fallen in our little practice world. I fell down many a crevice getting chased and running through leaves. Because you can't see nothing. Alright, why the hell do I have a waypoint marked way out there? Oh, because I'm nowhere near it. Okay, well, I'll see you at the house, and we'll probably wrap up episode two there. And we'll figure out what we need to do next. Ooh, what do we got here? Nothing. Usually crops almost look kind of neon, so if I see something really bright off in the distance, I always try to check it out. What do we got here? That 
is Garnierite. It's a ore that makes you instantly sound like you've been drinking. I'm gonna mark it just in case. Garnierite. I don't know if I spelled that right, but I'll get the point. Okay, so home is now home. I know one thing that I want to do real quick before it gets dark, because I don't know if it's going to cause a cave-in or not. Let me get rid of these. Okay, I didn't know if those were going to fall down because of that whole gravity thing. Ooh, that'll actually make a nice little chimney. When we start getting into making pit kilns, you actually need to make chimneys. Or you'll smoke yourself out of your house. We learn that the hard way. Alright, well. I think that's probably good for now. It was a decently productive day, I think. And we got a lot of good seeds. So I think in the morning, a garden is in order. Just to get stuff growing. We got barley and yellow bell peppers, wheat, carrots, the carrots, that's, those are good, cabbage, oops, so, yeah, we got some good stuff, so, I think that'll be, a uh, next on our agenda is to just make a quick, quick little farm, just enough to get something in the ground, so, all right, everybody, well, I appreciate you watching, we will, uh, continue this little escapade, in the next episode so if you enjoyed it please give me a like I know I'm enjoying doing this so uh, I'm gonna continue it and hopefully people encourage me to do so so alright I will see you next time <laughs>